Welcome. So what we're going to do is show you how to solve this by completing the square. So the first thing, just like when we're factoring a square root method, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our output value equal to 0. Now to solve this, remember we are going to use the inverse operations um, for completing the square. So what we need to do is we need to rewrite this um, into our vertex form. So therefore, we can use the inverse operations. Because right now, we have an x squared and an x. We can't combine them, nor can we isolate, one, isolate them because there's two of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this into our vertex form. And so to do that, what we need to do, remember, is our steps. The first step is to make sure that our a is 1. Since our a is 1, we're good. Then what we're going to do is take b divided by 2 and square it. So in this case, we have negative 4 divided by 2 squared. Well, negative 2 divided by 2 equals negative 2 squared, which equals 4. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add that 4 inside or to our um, first two quadratic terms and then outside. So we're going to add it inside of parentheses and then outside. So what I'm going to do is I'll say 0 equals x squared minus 4x and then add 4 and then subtract 4. All right. So notice, if I remove these parentheses, I would have the exact same equation, right? Um, but the reason why I'm keeping those parentheses is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as now a binomial squared. And that's the whole part of completing the square. What you're doing is you're creating a perfect square trinomial, which you can now factor down to a binomial squared. So this can now be factored down to x minus 2 squared. And then this equals minus, minus 1. Now I can apply my square root. Um, now I can solve by using the square root method, which means I'm just going to isolate my variable and use inverse operations. So what I'll do is I'll add 1 over here. So I have 1 equals x minus 2 squared. Then I take the square root. And now remember, when you're taking the square root, I'm going to have plus or minus 1 equals x minus 2. Then I add 2 to both sides. So therefore, I have x equals plus or minus 1 plus 2. So we're going to solve this in two different ways. We're going to have, say, positive 1 plus 2. So therefore, x equals 3. And we can say negative 1 plus, 1 plus 2. And x equals positive 1. So therefore, those are your two solutions by solving using completing the square. Thanks.